Hello, this is Erica with CramFighter. CramFighter is a simple software tool that med students can use to create a personalized study schedule for their board exams. Today, I'm going to show you how to use CramFighter to create a three-month study schedule for the USMLE Step 1. You can visit CramFighter.com to sign up for a free seven-day trial and build your own schedule with no credit card required. You can also find free Excel, Excel sample schedules on our site that you can use as a starting point for your own study plan. Here is what the Excel sample study schedule looks like for three months. In this version, it's broken out into two study blocks. The first study block consists of approximately day one through day 56, and then the second study block is for the last one third from day 57 to day 84. And you can kind of see we have Pathoma, Sketchy Micro, Fundamentals of Pathology, First Aid, and UWorld. But the Sketchy Micro does not start until the second block. So let's go ahead and get started building a schedule in CramFighter. I've created an account on CramFighter.com and signed up for the free seven-day trial. So I'm on the first page of setting up my study schedule, just like any other student would. So this is a three-month study schedule and Currently, today is April 19th, so my three-month date will be approximately July 20th. Once I have that, I select Add Exam. Now we're going to start building our study blocks. As I indicated earlier when we were looking at the Excel sheet, there's going to be two study blocks in this study plan. So the first one is going to go roughly for the first two months. So this first one is going to start today. It's going to go until about June 20th. Next, you'll build in your catch-up days and any unscheduled days you wanna tell CramFighter not to book any study tasks for you. So we recommend everyone builds in catch-up days to their study schedules because this is a marathon, not a sprint. There's gonna be days where you fall behind. There's a lot of material to get through. So we'll just leave these catch-up days as already prescribed in CramFighter, but you can set them up for any frequency that you wanna choose and any day of the week that you wanna choose. In that first study block in the sample schedule, we had two practice exams. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter those. The first one was on the sixth day of this study plan. So that's gonna be on the 25th. And then the second one was around day 48. So that is going to be on June 7th. So you can also pencil in, if you know you have a vacation day or some other reason you have to take a day off from studying, you can pre-block out those days using this unscheduled days feature in CramFighter. So now I'm on the stage and building my study plan where I want to build out the resources that I'm using. As I mentioned, in this first block, we're going to use Pathoma, Pathology, UWorld, and First Aid. For each of these, you can go through and scroll through this giant list of resources that we have but it's really easy just to use the search box and start typing in the resources that you're going to be using. So the first one, as I mentioned, is Pathoma. I'm going to go ahead and select all of the lectures that appear in this sequence and add them to my study plan. The next resource we're going to add is Fundamentals of Pathology. Just like with the lectures, you can select them all to add them all to your study plan. Save that one. Next is first aid for the step one. And we're gonna be using the 2019 edition. Select all the chapters, save those. And then finally, we're going to have UWorld questions in this block. Now on that Excel sheet, we had actually in this study block, 40 questions scheduled per day. So UWorld is a question bank, obviously. And with question banks, you can either choose the total number of questions you want to answer in a given study block or a daily number of questions. So because of this one being 40, I'm just gonna plug in 40 on each one of the fields for how many that we wanna answer per day. I'll hit save on that. So I'm all set with the resources that I've wanted to add for this first study block. So once those all get lined up and you can see your list over here and everything looks good,
hit continue. On this screen, this is where you sort the options of all the different body systems and subjects that you'll be studying. You can either sort by the subject or the body system. You'll be, or I should say, this will assign you study tasks based on the order that you select here. Or you can choose to just go through resources one by one, basically cover to cover, whatever order that the publisher made these available. Most of our customers will sort by subject or body system because it's a lot easier just to kind of lump all your learning together from different resources into one packet at a time, if you will. So to customize this, you can drag and drop the order in which you want to attack these different body systems. And once you've customized that to your liking, hit save. And on this page, you can actually tell Cramfighter how many hours that you want to spend working on your various book and lecture resources and your question bank resources per day. Now, I remember from looking at the Excel sheet, this person is actually going to be working on around seven book and lecture hours per day in this first study block and two question bank hours. So I'm gonna change these defaults to be seven and two for each of the days. One more. Hit save on that one. Now at this point, we've entered in all the information that's pertinent for our study block. And we can kind of see here on the summary page what we've entered. If you need to go back and edit anything, you can click on these hyperlinks. And I'll also call out that there's a stats window over here that gives you a little warning that tells you that you're a little bit aggressive, or this person is a little bit aggressive on the number of questions per hour that they're scheduling in this study block. We're actually aiming for 20 based on the number of questions that we wanna answer per day and the amount of time we have to answer uh, versus a student average of 12. So this, is just serving as a warning, sort of like as guardrails for you to use if you wanna go back and modify how many questions you wanna answer per day. In fact, it just says, we're giving you a caution that it's an ambitious schedule. So once we're done entering all the information in for the first study block, we can either finish up and just enter the information for this first study block now, and then enter the second block later, or we can go ahead and click continue creating your schedule and add another study block. So Cramfighter defaults, just label them, labeling it study block one, two, three, and so on. So this one has already been labeled number two, and it defaults to starting the day after your first study block ends. So this one has now been set up for basically that final, call it 27 days of this three month schedule. So it goes till the day before our exam date, which is July 20th. So if those dates look good, you can go ahead and create that study block now. Now we'll go through the same exact process that we did for the first study block. Um, we will keep the every second Wednesday catch up days. We don't actually have a practice test scheduled in this final stretch in this study block. So everything here, I'm just gonna leave the same because these actually apply to the first study block. So we'll hit save. We'll go through the same steps that we did in the first study block. So next we're going to add our resources. Uh, as I mentioned in this one, we had Pathoma, First Aid, Sketchy, and UWorld. So we'll just go ahead and add those one by one. Same process as before, we'll just select all the chapters or all the lectures. The next one is, again, the first aid, 2019 edition. Then we add Sketchy Micro. Oops no space. Select all these. And then finally, we're going to go through UWorld questions again in this particular study block. So choose the UWorld question bank. And on this study block, in this final stretch where we're intensely studying right before our exam, this is actually 80 questions per day. So we'll increase those and we'll fill the fields in accordingly. And then hit save on that. So as before, we're kind of seeing this warning that we're exceeding the student average in the number of questions we're looking to answer per hour. 
Again, you can modify this if you need to by decreasing the number of questions that you want to add to your study um, plan every day. But for now, we'll just leave it as is. Again, that's just a warning to you to let you know you're being a little ambitious. We can also now uh, go through that process where we can change the sort order of the body systems that we want to have study tasks assigned to us in. And by now, after you've taken the two practice exams, you may have a better idea of the body systems and topics that you want to front load in your study plan. So you can kind of move those around if you need to. Maybe I need to get better at respiratory, so I'm gonna attack that first. It's totally customizable, up to you. Hit save when you're done doing that. And the same thing on this study block, you can enter the number of study hours that you wanna spend on your book and lecture and your question bank hours per day. So this time it actually defaults to four book and lecture hours per day and then three QBank hours. You can also modify this. You may wanna have a heavier schedule on the weekdays and a lighter schedule on the weekends or vice versa. This is the screen where you would customize that too. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it as default and see how it assigns me things. So just like with the previous study block, you can look on here what the summary is of items that you entered on those previous screens. Click on any of these that you want to edit. And if everything looks good and you don't wanna add any more study blocks at this time, you'll hit finish and view schedule. And CramFighter actually takes all those inputs that we just entered and gives you back a very detailed study schedule of all the tasks that you need to do every single day with specific instructions, uh, like what pages that you need to read in a particular resource, what lectures by title that you need to watch in a particular lecture resource, and the number of QBank questions that you need to answer in a given day. As you complete these study tasks, you can just check them off. CramFighter will keep you on task and keep you knowing what you need to do every single day. You can move some of these to another day if you need to by dragging and dropping. And you can also, if you need to, access a PDF version if you know you're gonna be offline for any reason and can't get to your digital version of your CramFighter schedule. The other thing to keep in mind about CramFighter is that our schedules are dynamic and they can be modified quickly and easily with our rebalance feature. Now, because we just now created this schedule, we don't yet have any overdue tasks, but we all know life happens. You don't always stay completely on track with your study schedule and you might start having some tasks that fall behind and you don't complete them on the day they were assigned. If you start to see the tasks in this overdue tab start to pile up, you can always use our rebalance feature. And it's not gonna do anything right now because I have zero overdue tasks, but if I wanted to, with the push of a button, I could rebalance my schedule by moving all of the overdue tasks to future days evenly throughout my schedule. CramFighter kind of does all that reorganizing work for you. So that is basically a quick overview of building a three-month study schedule in CramFighter. Please visit CramFighter.com if you want to sign up for a seven-day fully featured free trial yourself or to download a sample schedule. Thanks for your time.